everybody and welcome back to my channel for a new video. So today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on how everything has been going with school. I haven't done a video. It's been a very long time since I've updated you guys and a few of you have been asking me how has it been going. So I thought I would sit down and just chit chat with you guys really quick and let you guys know how everything is going. So how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I've missed you guys and I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for being here. So if you are new, I'm on a journey to become a behavior analyst for two reasons. The first reason is I wanna teach my daughter that no matter where you are in life, you can change the trajectory of your career. You don't have to limit yourself to one thing. If you decide that you wanna do something and then later on you decide that you wanna change it, go for it like don't limit yourself to one thing okay and then the next thing is my son i have an eight-year-old that has autism and i thought that this would be a good career to help him live a better life and then also teach myself on how to handle him in certain situations and since being in school it's been a blessing i thank god every day that i'm able to study something that is so beneficial to Kaden and I and I'm just so thankful and I'm so blessed and I love God so much for everything that he's done for me so let's just go ahead and get into it so school has been going good you guys this semester I am taking four classes which means that I am considered a full-time student I never mentioned before, but I was part-time. I was only taking three classes. And so this semester, I really had to buckle down and get with the program. And it was because of scholarship and grant purposes. Now, before that, I had to pay out of my pocket for school. But since my grades were so good, they gave me scholarships and grants. And so I was able to get uh, this whole year paid for but the only thing is that I had to take full-time classes I had to be a full-time student so I thought that the benefits outweighed the you guys get what I'm saying so everything is paid for this semester because of my grades and and so I'm really thankful that I was able to get it paid for um, I have been extra busy though. Um, I have quite a few people that I need to get packages out to. So if you are one of those people, um, just try to remain patient with me and I'm really going to get everything sent out as quick as I can. So I wanna talk with you guys a little bit about the classes that I'm taking and then I'll go ahead and get off here. So the first class that I'm taking, um, the textbook is an ebook. It's called Treatment and Interventions for Autism Spectrum Disorders. My current grade in that class is a 98.9. I love that class so much. I've learned so much, learned so much, and I'm just super excited. I love that class. It's taught me so much about autism. There's so much information to learn about autism. So I'm really thankful that that class has allowed me to take a deeper look at the condition and the other conditions that are associated with ASD. So that class has been very informative. We've had a lot of projects and quizzes and other little assignments that we've had to do. So that class has been very busy. The next class that I have take that I took, this was actually a accelerated eight week course. Um, it was child psychology. I'm actually done with this class. It ended in September. And we had to write a 10 page paper on everything that we learned in here. So an example would be, um, there's a psychologist by the name of Piggott and he analyzed how the thought process of children in the different stages of their cognitive skills. So this class was very quick, um, a lot of reading, a lot of quizzes, a lot of projects and stuff that we had to do for this class. So I'm so glad that this class was um, only eight weeks and I'm so glad to be done with this class, but I did learn a lot and it's infants and children. So done with this class. 
Okay, so the next class that I really love, um, I love all my classes this semester, is the Special Education um, in Contemporary Society. This class, I have learned so much. I have learned beyond autism spectrum disorders. There are many other um, disabilities that children and adults are faced with on a day-to-day -day basis and this particular class has really educated me and taught me that there are um, other conditions as well which i already knew but it was nice to learn about other things um, so as you guys can see it is special education so this class has really come in handy for me this semester because um i haven't done a cadence journey update but Kaden is receiving special education and so this class has really educated me on the laws of special education which in turn has helped me become a better advocate for Kaden in terms of making sure that the school is doing what they're supposed to be doing according to Kaden's rights okay so it's very important to you know educate yourself as much as you can that way you can be an even better advocate okay when i first started out i didn't know anything you guys so that's the reason why i'm on this journey to learn and educate myself and just really understand okay so this book this textbook give gives me the history of special education um we've talked about uh intellectual disabilities learning disabilities, ADHD, autism spectrum disorders, behavior and mood disorders. So it's so much. And according to those disabilities um, or different ability, I hate, I don't really like the word disability, different ability. This class, I've loved it, still working on it. Um, this class is not gonna be done until December. So I'm still going y'all. Okay, so the last class that I am taking is Ethics for Behavior Analysts. So this is probably one of the most important classes that I'll take um, in the field of ABA just because you want to make sure that, you know, in any field, whether it's nursing, whether it's uh, you're a doctor or a lawyer, you want to make sure that you have that you are abiding by the ethics. And so this has really taught me um, so far a lot about the ethics and behavior analysis um, we're still working on this in this book it does this class doesn't end until december but um i have the codes here and there's different codes so you have to make sure that you are working under the codes if you are presented with a situation you want to make sure that you are acting ethically and responsible so that's what this class entails. It's very informative. I like it. I'm learning a lot. I take so many notes just because I want to make sure that when I do enter the field that I am responsible, you guys. Anytime someone tells me new information other than my professor or family members or, you know, just random people on the internet, I like to fact check. I like to read it for myself i like to see it for myself i like to research it for myself and in fact i would encourage you guys to do that as well it's called free thinking it's called thinking for yourself and not letting somebody else think for you now that doesn't mean that i'm not open for suggestions i'm very much open for suggestions but again if it's something that i don't know or something that i'm learning for the first time i like to see it for myself i always tell you guys you know, I'm just a mom who started on this autism journey back in 2015. And so like everyone else, I was inspired to like share our story and share what I know, but I am in no way giving advice. I'm in no way saying you need to do this, you need to do that. So anything that I share, um, disclaimer, anything that I share, it's from a parent perspective. Because I've read so many stories where people have you know, shared their stories and they didn't give advice. So that's the same thing that I'm doing. It's just, I'm not giving advice. I'm just, you know, sharing what we've gone through and that's it. So that was a mouthful. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead in the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about anything, leave them in the comment section below. I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. You want to say hi? Come on. Hi. I know you want to say hi. <laughs> hi.
my favorite mom. You know we have favorite one. mom. So is there another mom? <laughs> well, just because you're my only mom doesn't mean you can't be my favorite. Cheers. <laughs>